Hey guys, what's up? It's Art again. Here's uh, my 68 uh, Plexi Clone um, Part 2. I know on the first part I showed you that I had options with uh, the turret board. Um, and I ended up using this uh, brown chocolate one here. It's populated already with uh, all the resistors and capacitors and filter capacitors on the main and, and power board. And what I'm doing right now is I am uh, forming the capacitors. So uh, again, like on the first video I said that uh, I took this amp apart in 2009. So these capacitors here have been sitting unused for approximately uh, five years now. So I have to form them, and uh, what a lot of people like to give an example of what forming is, is inside there's an oil, and uh, when that oil gets hard, it looks like, like when honey gets hard, it gets kind of flaky and stuff inside like the honey jar. So when you form the capacitors, you make the inside kind of look like this again. It's all... Uh, it's it's uh, I don't want to say broken in, but the oil is uh, more fluid now. It's it it's um, formed, if you will. So what I'm doing right now is uh, I have a capacitor here. Well, first of all, right here, I hope you can see this. Right here, there's a 100k resistor. It's a one watt resistor. And what I did is I removed the CT from the power transformer side. And I taped it, and this normally goes on this side of the of this filter cap. And then I remove the little jumper wire that goes from your diodes, your your rectifier diodes, onto the positive side of the top of this of filter capacitor. So I unsoldered the wire from here, propped it up on this side, and then ran a 100k resistor from here to here. And now I'm measuring across the 100k resistor. So in order to form uh, like a 68 plexi like this one, or a 67, you, you don't, in the process of making it, you don't solder this until the end. And then you just kind of arrange this while everything else is uh, complete and soldered and, and your job is done. Uh, and you do this without any tubes. So no, there's no power tubes or preamp tubes installed right now on this amp. And again, Here's the 100K resistor. Oh, sorry about that. That's my dog. And um, so a guy on on a on an amp building forum forum recommended that I started off with the uh, Variac at 100 volts because the big concern with this amplifier when you're forming the filter caps is that you don't want to have the, your couplers capacitors here um, over 400 volts because that's what they're rated for and that's why I have a hot right here measuring uh, the voltage here so it's a 122 volts right now coming to here and um, and it's still at 100 volts coming in, in into the amp so I have it I have a very act that it's down to 100 volts and right now the filter capacitors are at I hope you could see that. Let me move my thumb. Sorry about that. Okay, the filter capacitors right now show it's a 141 direct current. Okay, and there's this question. I, here, if you go to alternating current, it goes down to 112 or 111. So it's okay. So I'll go down to direct current and it shows that it's 141. So my whole goal with this amp and forming capacitors is that if I could bring it down to under five volts and without frying my couplers. So right now, my incoming voltage is 100 volts. And the way I do that is uh, I'm gonna remove this hot off of the coupler, put it into my incoming volts, which is right here, right? And then Go to alternating current, so I have uh, I have this other, the second multimeter, and it's at alternating current, if you can see that right there. So I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, it's on direct. So now I'm gonna go to alternating, 
then it'll tell me how many volts I have coming in. So I have 101. So my variac is over here that way. So I'm going to turn it up until I get 110 volts. And then I got to measure my couplers. So my left hand is on it right now. So I'm going to go up slowly because this thing really moves. And I'm, and I'm making this video uh, to see if uh, someone else, you know, if I could help someone on learning how to do this. And it really makes a difference between uh, formed capacitors and capacitors that were not formed. Uh, the amp sounds more loose. And this amp is in most of the components on this amp, except the mustard capacitors, have been uh, broken in. So, again, I, like I said, I use this amp for like it, about four or three years when I built it, and then I took it apart. So, right now we're showing 110 volts. Okay? So, now let's go back to direct current and put that hot on the coupler capacitor to measure how much voltage it went up and I don't want to go over 400 so right now I am at 135 there I'm gonna make different measurements because I have to make sure that I don't exceed the filter capac capacitor um, exceed its voltage rating so we have here 136.6 I'm gonna set it here you can't it's out of the screen now so I apologize um, so I'm going to go to direct current. I'm going to check my filter capacitors now. Okay, my uh, preamp, it's at 139. Here's my uh, screens. 162. And my uh, the main ones are at 162. Uh, this one says that it's 80 for some reason. Oh, it shouldn't be 80. Let's see. 85. That's okay. So now I'm going to go back to here and keep that 139. So it's still forming. Sometimes they say it takes 48 hours. Sometimes it's quicker depending on how good the capacitors are. These are made in Germany FNT filter capacitors, so they shouldn't take long. But again, the amp's been sitting for five years. And uh, right now it shows 148 and direct and alternating it shows 124. So we're going to be here for a while. So I'm going to stop now a recording and then when it drops, because it might, again, it might take 48 hours. So I don't want to, I mean, I'm not going to record 48 hours of this process, but I'm going to stop now and then. Um, and I've had it on already for maybe an hour so if it doesn't drop it within an hour and I ha I've had other amps do that to where in an hour's time the voltage drops to under 5 volts and the capacitors were formed which meaning these capacitors were fairly new um, so since it's been an hour already I don't think this amp is going to take uh, it's going to be a quick uh, forming uh um, technique here or, or forming an episode on this amp so it's gonna be a little longer so I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this video and then when I'm close to uh, under 5 volts I'll continue and then I'll remove the camera off the stand and kind of show exactly how to do this again um, and then go over the overview of this amp and um, all right, cool. I hope this helps someone with their build.